Mr. Speaker. From tomorrow, the sitting down. Sit. Oh, no, you bitch. Shut up a minute. What's this for? Give him the word in. Order! Order! I say to the honourable gentleman, give him the shoes. I will not tolerate such behaviour. If you want to go out, go out now, but if you stand again, I will order you out. Make your mind up. And then shut up and get out. I warn the honourable member. That if they protest in Curling Mountain, shut up a minute. Does somebody want to <clears throat> him? Two at once. Give me the Order, order. Sit down, you want me in the future. I now warn of the honourable members that if they persist in refusing to comply with my order to withdraw, I shall be content, compelled to name both of them, which may lead to them being suspended from the House. Right, names. To ensure that the Honourable Member complies. Can it? <coughs> What's the names? Neil Hanby. Neil Hanby and Kenny I order. Shut it. Shh. Neil Hanvey, I am now naming you and Kenny McCaskill to leave this chamber. Sergeant, deal with them. Deal with them. <coughs> deal with them. Just sit down. Out. No. Sergeant at arms, escort them out. Take yeah. them out, Sergeant. Let them out. Insurrection. Now then, let's just see if we can. <laughs> Mr. Costa, you don't want to go and escort them to the tea room, do you? <laughs> no, I suggest not. I think you're a good and better behaved than that. Right, we'll try again after that. Prime Minister, Prime Minister will now go to Robin Miller. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Speaker, from tomorrow, the first instalment of the cost of living payment will start landing in the bank accounts of 8 million households across the country. This is a much needed 